Welcome to your Daily Revolution podcast. Today's topic, the one thing you should do every single day. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. My, my name is Satya Mangali, the founder and creator of the Prosperity Revolution, a global movement that helps you to get out of scarcity and into prosperity every single day. A movement where people have value, things do not, where money is a result of helping people, where you're rewarded for creating value for others, and where prosperity is not the result of luck, but of predictable steps and formulas, and, and, and where happiness is, is the ultimate goal. So excited for today's podcast. It is a beautiful day here in Southern California. And if you're listening to the podcast for the first time, thank you. If this is a regular for you, thank you. I'm, I'm so grateful and I am honored. Let's, let's dive right into this. So, you know, I, I, I work with amazing people. I absolutely love my clients. They inspire me. They make me better. And uh, right, it's my job. Like, this is how I earn a living and provide value to the marketplace. So over the last call it dozen years or so right over the last at least dozen years but even dating back to my college days when I was playing football at BYU got in the NFL like there's this daily habits that I've done consistently and that they've only gotten better as I've gotten older particularly in the last 10 years right so I've built over the last 20 years and in the last 10 years they've I've stacked upon stacked upon stacked upon some of the, the greatest most significant things that I do on a daily basis. This thing that I do on a daily basis gives me clarity and gives me focus. It helps me to reshape and rebuild my identity. Right? We never outperform our identity. We always perform right in alignment with who we believe we are. This allows me to feel happiness and joy every single day. And the, you know, the thing that I absolutely love about this is it's contagious. You know, if you if you're struggling to start your days, if you're struggling to make a difference, if you're struggling to to be productive, then this thing is going to be incredible for you. And this thing that I do every single day, you can do too. And my clients do. And I get a chance to listen and read theirs and what they're up to. And it's probably the most significant thing that you can do to start your day. So what is this? And again, you'll never know if this works for you until you try it on. And trying it on once doesn't mean you've tried it on. Like you got to try it on for at least 60 days. One of my dear brothers who who was a client, but now is a business partner, a, a mentor and a leader, just an incredible human being, uh, just a powerful dude. He really got this thing going. And he tells everyone that we, that we coach, just try it on for 60 days. Just do it for 60 days. And you're going to see it change everything inside of your world. So what is that thing? And I'm going to tell you what that is right now. It's called a daily focus. You see, a daily focus is a a system that if you do it, it moves you closer to the thing that you want faster. Let me say that again. It's a system and a tool that accelerates your progress and journey towards the thing that you really want to have. And I'm going to show you how this works. So there's four parts of a daily focus. And again, this is a daily rhythm, right? It's a daily routine. You know, championship athletes, the greatest leaders, the greatest performers, they have rituals and they have routines and they have rhythms and they do things that put them in the zone. In sports, there's this thing called the zone. It puts you in the zone. And this is what it does for me. So there's four parts. The first part is what we call high value targets and hit list. Now, a high value target, if you think in terms of military operations, right? It's just a fancy way of saying, what's the most important thing that I got to do today? And so we say high value targets and a hit list. The hit list is like, I'm going to knock things off this list, almost like a to-do list, but we use different language. What are your HVTs, your high value targets and hit lists? In other words, this is your way of planning the day, right? There are so many quotes out there that talk about if you plan your day, you prepare to win. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. And most people kind of get up and they just check their phone and they do this and that. And they, 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 they have no kind of championship rhythm routine. So the first thing is you're going to write this down. What are my high value HVTs and hit lists? What do I got to do today? And for example, mine will usually have coaching calls and email to someone, respond to this, 
pick up my boys here. Like it's just everything that like the most important things that I got to do so I can check off at the end of the day. That's the first part. Along with this first part, we have what's called a cut list. Like what do you need to cut out? What are you going to be intentional and deliberate about, about not doing? And for me, it's almost always my phone. I, Hey, look, I'm not, I got a limit on social media. I'm not going to be on my phone. So, you know, that's what it is for me. Again, what are you going to cut out? Some people say junk food. Some people say fear and doubt. Some people say stories. And I just want you to consider like, what is the one thing you got to cut out? All right. On to the next thing. Second thing that we do is what we call gratitude. And gratitude is really the practice of what am I grateful for right now? And I typically say, hey, just put five things down that you're grateful for right now. A lot of times people will put things that like they're always grateful for my family, my house. I, I get those. But what are five things that you are grateful for in the moment? And I like to put, of course, I still put my beautiful wife, my sons who are brilliant. My God and my blessings are home, the food in the fridge and the pantry, the cars we drive, the clothes we wear, the safe neighborhood we live in, my clients, like my mom and dad. And, and there's, you know, there's a variety of things that I put on there and it changes. But every single day I start out with those high value targets, hit list and cut list and then gratitude. Can you imagine what your day would look like if you expressed gratitude and you wrote this down every day and you just, you, know, you just kind of breathe it in when you, you write this down? Third thing is what we call conscious self creation. So there's affirmations, you know, self talk. Our language is conscious self creation or CSC. And these are the statements that are I am, you know, two of the most powerful words because whatever follows behind that, that's what you consciously and subconsciously believe yourself to be. And why does conscious self creation matter so much? It matters because you will never outperform your self-image or your identity. You know, in other words, you're going to live up to and you're going to perform based upon how you see yourself and how you intentionally or unintentionally create yourself. So you take this conscious self-creation and, you know, I'll, I'll read my daily focus today, specifically the one today, I'll read that out loud to you so you can see what I do. So there's a conscious self-creation and then the final thing is top 10. Top 10 is something I took from 10 years ago when I was knocking doors and it was one of my managers shared this practice with us and you, you, three minutes, you know, two to three minutes, you write down your top 10 goals in first person, present tense, positive frame, just like a conscious of creation. First person, you know, um, I earn, I weigh, I accomplish, I achieve. You put it in present tense as if you're doing it and you'll hear mine when I read mine. I do these four things every day. So high value targets and hit list. There's my plan for the day. That's what I got to execute on the cut list. What I got to avoid. Number, number two, gratitude or just a way to really express and live inside of gratitude. Number three, conscious self creation, right? Who am I and how am I creating myself to be? And then number four, top 10, your top 10 outcomes. Like, and the top 10 could be within the next 12 weeks. Within the next 12 months, could be within the next three years, could be within the next 10 year, like a 10 year vision or a 30 year legacy. And mine kind of have all of those incorporated in there. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to read to you mine today. And as I pull this up here on my phone, because this is where I shoot my podcast, I just want to have you consider what would happen if you did this every single day? Like what would happen in your life? If you started your day doing this. So once you've written it down, the next step is to actually read it out loud and read it with meaning. So if I were to read mine today, it would read right um, high value. I, I, I usually jump in. I share this with my, my team and I always read it out loud and we listen to each other's. It inspires us. And it's an incredible practice. Like I love listening to my business partners. I love listening to our clients. I get to see all of theirs. Occasionally, I'll share mine with them. And uh, this is my daily focus for today when I'm shooting the podcast. So high value targets and hit. And this is what it would literally sound like when I do it out loud. I'd be like, all right, I'm, I'm usually like, what's up, fellas? All right, here's my daily focus, high value targets and hit list. I got to create an agreement for one of our clients. 
Uh, I'm going to study my scriptures. I got to book flights for April and May and June events. I, I've got to reach out to clients, XYZ. I got their names in here. I'm going to do a walk with my wife. I'm going to train my sons. I got to spend 30 minutes writing my book, study 30 minutes studying uh, sales videos. Uh, I got to send two emails up to the list. I got to call my father, my brother, and then I've got to schedule a call uh, with one of our investors or uh, one of our invest, I guess. Yeah. Investees, right? Someone I, we, we put money into their business. Uh, what's the one thing I'm going to cut out? Uh, my phone. Like once I'm done, I'm done. I'm going to put my phone away. Uh, what am I grateful for? I'm so thankful for my beautiful wife. She is the best thing that ever happened to me. I love my son so much. I'm so grateful for them. I'm enjoying my time with them as daddy. I got to do something awesome with them this weekend before I head out. I'm so thankful for my business partners. I love these guys. I'm grateful for Sean and his willingness to just be so teachable. He's amazing. I'm grateful for Jimmy Lynn. She is incredible. I'm grateful for Ed and Dawn, my workout dudes. I'm so thankful for mom and dad. I'm so thankful for my clients. Number three, conscious of creation. I am a world-class husband. I am a 100% all in for my beautiful wife. I'm a five-star world-class daddy who's loving, patient, and the builder for my sons. I build my sons up. They are better when they're with me. I'm a lean, fit, functional, athletic, sexy, agile, mobile, hostile, 270 pounds by my birthday. And I hit 10,000 steps daily uh, today when I'm shooting this right now. I got to go get 4,000 more. That's easy. I'm the most powerful speaker, trainer, high impact, world-class coach. I'm the most incredible businessman in the influencer space and coaching space. I am a devoted disciple of Jesus Christ who keeps my covenants and promises with God, my wife, myself, and with others. I am a beacon of light. I am a global influencer. I am a best-selling author. I am a champion. And I am the most electrifying, game-changing speaker on the planet. I always make sound financial decisions. I'm a wise steward over the money that we're blessed with. I eat clean daily. I love the work. I do the work. I always do what's required. I am the man who loves his life. I am an optimist realist. I am a walking, talking man of faith and uh, knowing. And I weigh 260 pounds by September 2021. Top 10 outcomes. I weigh 270 by July 2nd, 2021, and I am in the best shape of my life. This is one of the most important outcomes for me right now, and I'm excited to weigh 260 by September 2021. Uh, My organization is a $100 million juggernaut. My business partners and I, we crush this, and we impact millions of lives through our programs and platforms. Our our other organization is an eight-figure juggernaut. We own multiple vacation homes and a Phenom 300 by September 2023. Big goal right there. Uh, One of our organizations has 500 members. Our other organization has 250 members, clients. I have a number, put a number on number of one-on-one clients that I coach. Um, number three, I take my sons on camping trips this year, three camping trips this year. I weigh X amount, so I got some dates here for my weight. Number five is I take care of my parents until they pass away, and I love helping them out financially and supporting them, touching base with them each week. Um, we have a, put a dollar amount, X amount in personal savings by July 2nd, 2023, and we deserve it. We take an awesome family trip for spring break, and that's already on the books. Uh, I invest in our businesses. I don't get our monthly cash flow up to I put a number there. I take great care of my parents now until they pass away. Oh, that's a kind of a repeat. I take my sons on awesome getaways one-on-one each year. Each one of them gets a one-on-one with daddy. I can overnight her at a hotel or a camping or something that's just fun for us to bond. I am a New York Times bestselling author, and I finished my Mind of a Champion book by Q2 2021. I write a book every other year. I am an author. I am a writer. I am an entrepreneur. I am the man who loves his life. That's my daily focus today, right? And obviously, there's some personal things in there that I've omitted from reading, but it's in there. My numbers, my goals, what I'm grateful for. And when I read it, man, I really read this with passion. Now, are there some days where I don't feel like it? 100%. Of course. Well, some days I'm just like, oh my gosh, but I do it because I want to have a plan for the day that I've got to execute on based upon what I'm trying to create over the next 12 weeks inside of my 12 week season. There's, I've got to avoid certain things every day. Like I don't want to be addicted or glued to my phone. I love to live in gratitude and really express it. I create myself daily, right? I am a powerful $100 million man. And then my top 10 outcomes, right? What do I want to create over the next 10 to 30 years for my life, even as short as, as you heard me say, like I want to lose some weight over the next few months. So that's what I do every day. It's called a daily focus. Now, if you're in one of our groups, there's deep dive trainings on this, on how to execute this. We have a lot of people who this has changed their entire world. It keeps them focused on their high value targets and hit lists. It helps them to avoid the thing that, right, that wastes your time and distracts you. 
It allows you to live in gratitude at the beginning of the day. Like, what are you grateful for? It allows you to create yourself powerfully, right? Your conscious self-creation. I am, and you're building a new identity. And then you list the top 10 outcomes that you want for your life, right? You, what do you want? You do this every single day in our systems, right? You, you type it in, you hit submit, you get an email, we get an email. I get to see everyone I'm working with, and it's so fun. That's what this is all about. And one of the coolest things about this is in 2011, which is 10 years ago from the time I'm shooting this podcast, I wrote down in my journal, I was physically handwriting these things of what I was going to do. And so much of what I talk about today has happened. In 2014, I found another journal entry, the same thing where I was writing down my goals. And in 2014, I said the same thing. I sell coaching. People come to my events. People pay me to coach them. It's happening. Right? All the things I talk about, building my sons up, being in love with my wife, being a five-star daddy. Like Every time I start to act out of alignment with that, there's this, like something that happens because I've say, I say this every single day, right? I say it every day. I am a five-star daddy who's patient and powerful with my sons. I'm a world-class five-star husband who loves on my wife every single day, right? And I say these things. I love the work. I do the work. I always do what's required. I love doing a daily focus. I love what it's done for me over the last 10 years of my life, what it's done for me over the last six years. I love what it does for for our clients. Like some of our clients, man, they are incredible. And they do this practice every day. We have thousands upon thousands of entries from our clients, and it's incredible. So I invite you if, you, if you want more help with this, you want to be part of an amazing community of entrepreneurs and business owners, go check out championshuddle.com, right? Championshuddle.com. Uh, we're actually going to be opening up the Prosperity Revolution monthly, which is going to be a really powerful personal growth and development, more simple. Uh, Champions Huddle is going to bump up in price, and we've just got some amazing things coming down the pipe. Because, you know, our goal is to help as many people as possible, to make such a difference for people and to help you who's wanting to level up and expand your life and create results and really live your purpose. So championshuddle.com, check that out. And I invite you to, look, if this has made a difference, share this with someone, send it to them, text them, and uh, try on a daily focus. And I'd love to see what yours looks like and sounds like. Shoot me a message, screenshot this, and let me know you're listening. Thank you for listening. I appreciate you so much and have an amazing day. Let's go. This is your daily revolution. Live in prosperity, we show you how to do it. There's no luck about it. We got the strategic blueprint. This is the y- 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 your daily revolution. You already know. And if you don't, then check my resume. Turn in pressure into possibilities every day. We all can win and live our unique purpose. We change our mindsets and put the work in. This is the y- y- your daily revolution. Y- 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 da- daily revolution. Revol- 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 revolution. Your daily revolution podcast. Ah.